Hello and welcome back to Today Years Old. I'm a consultant recovering from burnout and that's ironic considering the content of this video. So we're a week on now from the Goldman Sachs Junior Bankers news of their 95 hour working week. Now as a consultant I am no stranger to some decent working hours but I have never consistently worked 95, 100 plus hours a week. So I thought we'd do an experiment. What is it really like to work 95 hours a week? In this video, we're going to find out. Let's be honest, you clicked on this to watch me dribble into my keyboard in a exhaustion induced delirium. Well, if you've only clicked to see me suffer, skip to 17 minutes. First things first, this is an experiment. Nobody has forced me to do this. And because it's an experiment, if at any point I feel like it is impacting my mental or physical well-being, I'm going to stop. No health is worth destroying over a YouTube video, which frankly, nobody's probably going to watch. Rule number two, I'm going to track my working week starting today, which is Sunday because although the Goldman Sachs analysts said that they work Saturdays and Sundays, Saturdays are sacred days with my partner and I'm not willing to sacrifice that either. And finally, rule number three. Work in this context is going to mean both work that I do for the company and also work that I do for Today Years Old, which is a blog and a YouTube channel. Link to the blog down below. Hello, future Charlie here. Very important thing I forgot to tell you on Sunday. The objective of this exercise is not to just do the same amount of work, but take 95 hours to do it. Anyone can do that. Um, it's really to push myself and see how much can you complete in 95 hours, artificially putting the pressure on yourself to really see what can we do with a 95 hour work week. Okay, glad we cleared that up. Back to Sunday. Let me talk you through this spreadsheet. The first thing I worked out is the raw target. So if I need to work 95 hours over seven days, that means that I would need to do 13 and a half roughly hours a day. Now, the time is currently half past 12, so it would be impossible for me to do more than 12 hours today. Uh, more than 11 and a half hours so clearly that's not going to work so I need an adjusted target so what I've said is that I will aim to work today for nine hours and I've already said that Saturdays are days with my partner so we'll be doing no work on Saturday which means I need to divide the remaining time between the five working days left which means that apart from today, on average, I need to clock up a whopping 17.2 hours a day. So today is Sunday. It is half past 12. And let's make a start. It's just after four o'clock. And so it's time for a tea break. It's been a productive afternoon. I have managed to do a deck that I've been putting off for a while. So yeah, so far so good. Okay, so it's now just after eight o'clock and we've been going for seven and a half hours. I've had two 10 minute breaks uh, to have my dinner and have a shower. So uh, we've been going for kind of seven hours, 10 minutes, if we're really counting, uh, which we are. So um, it's been a really productive afternoon. There's no interruption. So I've been able to get lots of work that really needs brain power um, done. But it's Sunday evening, so cheeky glass of wine. Okay, it's just after 10 o'clock and we've been working now since uh, half past 12 and we took two 10 minute breaks. So I have been working for approximately nine hours. Can't be bothered to work out the calculation. So um, all that time was spent doing actual work stuff on mostly PPT or Excel. So nine hours goes here. 
Um, I'm about to go and read and I'm going to spend an hour reading a book that I'm going to review on this channel. So I'm going to call that an additional hour of side hustle work. Meaning that the total work for today was 10 hours, meaning we've got another 85 to go this week. Good morning, it's 6.03, I am wide awake. Um, I know the Goldman Sachs analysts say they normally start around 8, but I'm wide awake and I normally get up at half past 6 anyway to do a couple of work uh, hours work on today years old. So I'm going to get up and crack on with it. And it's now... <clears throat> just before half past six and we're set up ready to film another video for the channel now i use the same camera for everything so i can't do some meta filming film um so we'll see you on the other side okay it's just after half past eight and that's normally the time i log on for a standard work day we've done two hours of work this morning on our today use old channel so i'm gonna put two hours into my spreadsheet and start my normal working day see you on the other side Now, to prove I'm not lying about the time, there it is, half past midnight. Let's add this work into our chart. So we spent two hours this morning creating, uh, editing, doing the description and uploading a video. Um, and that took us two hours. And then we did 15 hours of work, which is minus the one hour break. So in total today, we did 17 hours of work which means that we've got a further 68 hours to hit between now and Friday in order to hit our overall target for the week. Um, for those of you that like a burn down chart, then you can see we are pretty much exactly on target. So just some thoughts to wrap up day one. Um, to be honest, I feel fine. I don't feel tired at all. Um, not struggling, but it's only day one of like real hours. So um, you really shouldn't be struggling on the first day. So it's been a really productive day. Um, I've done absolutely everything I needed to and more. So that's great. I haven't been as efficient as I normally am, to be honest. Um, but that's fine. Uh, so now it's bedtime and Goldman analysts say they sleep for five hours a night. So see you in five hours. Good morning. It's six o'clock. We've had our five hours of sleep and it's time to get up and do some work. Okay, um, it's 10 to 4 and I have worked pretty much solidly since 6.30 this morning. Um, we had an issue on our project, so my uh, side hustle, <laughs> strong term, work didn't get done. So um, it's been a pretty full on day, if I'm honest. Um, so I haven't really had time to pick up this camera or document the experience. But I've got a few minutes between meetings now, so I thought I would just chat to the camera about how I'm feeling and how the kind of overall experience is. Um, I had my full five hours of Goldman Sachs sleep um, and I feel fine actually, um, it's not really a problem. In terms of the just sheer duration, absolutely I'm getting quite a bit more done. Um, I am turning out more stuff but I'm going to be interested to see the value of that stuff at the end of this. Um, I think sometimes things get pushed to the bottom of a to-do list for a reason. They're secretly trying to tell you they're not that important and they probably don't really need doing. So we're going to find out whether we're really doing just a lot of them. But so far, um, so good. Uh, I need to go to the next meeting, but it's okay. It's half past eight. I'm in the middle of a deck, but I just needed to pick up the camera and tell you this observation that has kind of struck me. Normally, I am focused on being 100% efficient 100% of the time. So really squeezing out that maximum value for the minimum time. What I'm finding, though, is that clearly in a 95 hour working week, it's not going to be possible to be at that 100% efficiency all the time. But in allowing myself a little bit more time for each of these tasks, I'm actually being more creative and giving myself a bit more headspace to be creative and I'm having more fun. Now, I'm not trying to send the message that working 95 hours a week is going to be fun, uh, but there is potentially something there in allowing yourself a bit of extra time. There's a learning for this evening. 
Okay, it's just after midnight. Today we have done uh, 16 hours of work work and the last hour and a half we did of planning YouTube videos for the future of this channel, which means our total is 17.5 hours today and we've only got 50 and a half hours of the whole week left to go. So that's good. When you look at this on the burn down chart, we are ever so slightly ahead of schedule. So overall tracking pretty well. As we finish another day, my head's quite busy with some conflicting thoughts. On the one hand, the time has absolutely flown by. I really haven't had to scratch around for things to do. I've been so busy. The daily and the hours have just absolutely zoomed by and I've enjoyed it. That's conflicted against the fact that I feel like I shouldn't enjoy it. Um, I feel like this is sending maybe the wrong message, but I wanted to give an honest view on what it's really like to work 95 hours a week. Um, we're however many hours we are in deep and I'm actually enjoying it. I feel like I have refound some of my real raw love for my job that I haven't fully had back since before burnout. Um, I don't feel guilty about that at this stage. Um, maybe this was actually just part another part of the burnout recovery. Um, but I don't want to come across that I'm glorifying the ridiculous work hours because I'm not. Um, and I think I just want to think about that a bit more. And I will do that in my five hours of Goldman Sachs sleep. Good night. Good morning. It's bang on six o'clock. I've had my five hours of Goldman Sachs sleep. And then we're ready for another day. I'm definitely not a morning person. I think that previous clip shows that. Um, <laughs> it's a few hours later now, though. I'm, I got up and I've had my coffee and I'm fine now. Um, and I was just thinking about how you clear your entire work stack the night before, but then you, you log on again this morning and somehow it's filled up again, even whilst you were asleep. It's amazing. And it kind of made me think of two things. One is the reward for work is more work in this type of industry. And particularly when you're allowing yourself to just work all of the time and not set any boundaries or push back, then it's amazing how you can quickly slip into the work just piles and piles and piles and, and you almost feel like you don't control it. I definitely don't feel like that right now, but I can also see how if you were to do this over a sustained period of time, without pushing back or setting boundaries, uh, then it would be really easy to slip into that place very quickly. And the other thing it made me think of was Parkinson's law. So Parkinson's law is the idea that task swells to take the amount of time allotted to it. So if someone says to you, I need this deck in a week, then you'll take a week to do it. But if someone says they need the same deck in an hour, then you do it in an hour. I was expecting to feel that by this point really drained and tired and be dribbling a bit, but I don't. And I think it'll be interesting to see how today and the next couple of days go. But I think at the moment, I've also learned some positive things that I wasn't expecting to learn. So I'm really pleased by that. Right, back to the grind. Right, I'm quickly picking up the camera whilst the dinner cooks. Uh, you can probably hear that bubbling away. Um, so update on today. We are, it's just after 10 past seven. We've only done about 11 hours so far. So we're pretty, pretty early. Um, but it was a bit hard this morning, to be honest, to get up. But um, once I got going, to be honest, I felt absolutely fine. So far, I've been surprised at how not tired I am, which um, might be because I'm really busy, genuinely just really busy. And at the moment, I don't think I've found an adverse effect on my productivity. So I, to be honest, I was kind of expecting to do a lot of like slowing down, not being that efficient, feeling really tired and drained. And I've actually been quite surprised that I haven't felt like that yet, but it is only Wednesday. We still have two more days to go. There's time yet. Um, so feeling good. There's a lot still to be done tonight, to be honest, um, partially from a work perspective. And also I haven't really done much on the channel because I've been busy with work. So um, I really need to catch up on that tonight. So we might be in for a bit of a late one. Okay. See you later. I think this might be a genuine Goldman Sachs moment. 
where something I've been working on for a while I have discovered I've been doing wrong and I'm gonna have to basically start over again and the meeting starts at nine o'clock and it's currently ten to ten so I'm gonna be fixing that for a while <sighs> so I'm having a mid XL rescue mission tea break um, waiting for the kettle to boil um, what I have realised is I, al I always prioritise work over today years old YouTube channel stuff because ultimately work is more important and what I found in doing this experiment is I have found that I can do a lot of work um, there's, just, there's just loads out there there's more out there I honestly thought that I would see Probably I would do the same amount of work, work, but do more channel stuff. But actually, what I found is I'm doing less channel stuff than I have been, and more work, work. I think Parkinson's law is a thing. It's frustrating because there's so much I haven't done for the channel that I want to do. Hmm. On the plus side, I've just realised the 11 hours I mentioned earlier is excluding the two hours I did on channel stuff this morning. So actually, back then, it was 13 hours, not 11. It's now half past 10, so I don't know where we're at. But to be honest, I'm losing track of the hours and I'm not really clock watching. It's more about how much ideally productive stuff can I do. And there's a lot more of it to get through tonight. So, keep going. 21. So, today is Wednesday. Well, I suppose it's sort of Thursday. Anyway. Actual work hours. We kicked off at half past day and we've just finished. So, that's 16 hours. And then, um, this morning we did two hours of work from half past six on the YouTube channel. So, total work today comes to 18 hours, so we are ahead of target. And if you look at the burn down chart, we're tracking pretty healthy. Okay, so I made the cardinal sin of checking my emails before I went to log off. And of course, here I am, half an hour later, still doing stuff. Um, I'm going to actually log off now. I've just added that extra time to the to the sheet uh, but I also just caught a glimpse of how orange my eyes are I don't know if you can see this in the camera but uh, 18 and a half hours down the line uh, eyes are pretty pretty orange that's a good sign I need to close them for five hours good morning we've had our five hours of Goldman Sachs sleep ah oh, this is definitely the hardest part I was just watching that clip from this morning and editing it into the video. I look so tired. <laughs> oh gosh, that's amazing. Uh, I'm quite tired now. Um, it's kind of catching up with me a little bit. Um, so I might leave the house for the first time in a while and go out and get an outside coffee. See you in a bit. I didn't go for an outside coffee because outside is raining. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, I stayed inside for inside tea. Um, I think I'm starting to feel it now. Um, I am noticing some differences psychologically, which are steps I recognize in myself. Um, I went through a short period where everything was hysterically funny. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's not quite over. Um, just everything was really funny. Um, interspersed with my eyelids feel a bit, um, not droopy, just <laughs> just a bit heavier than normal. At uh, oh, 10 to 3 on the normal afternoon. Um, so yeah, I've made a cup of tea because I've got some meetings where I'm going to have to use my brain. So I need to wake up a bit. Um, there's still quite a lot to do actually if I'm honest um but we will get there um what I am finding is when I do sit down to start something I'm actually quite productive because I'm sort of in that tiredness where I'm too tired to get distracted um if you know you know um so that's good I think honestly the struggle is real today um 
I had 12 hours left to complete on the schedule and I'm intending to finish at bang on 5.30. So that gives you an indication of what time we had to start this morning to get our last 95 hours in. Um, we are going to make it though. So I think we just got to keep focused now. Push through to the end and I will see you in the final wrap up. So that's it. 95 hour work week done. Actually, I'm filming this a couple of hours early because come 5.30, I am logging off and I am calling it a day. I'm going to make a separate video detailing the things that I've learned throughout this week because I've been surprised by what I found. But I'm going to give you some initial thoughts now. Firstly, how do I feel? Um, frankly, I feel like I've got a hangover, but without having had any of the alcohol. Um, and it was fine for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday was our peak. That was our peak productivity as well. And then Thursday was okay until the evening when it really dropped off and I started to feel quite tired. And then this morning was nearly impossible to get up. In fact, if, if this wasn't an experiment that I knew I was finishing today, I probably wouldn't have got up to do my 12 hours of work because I was very tired this morning. Um, and so it's been fine and then really crashed quite suddenly, um, which I was surprised by. I thought it would be a bit more of a gradual descent into delirium, but no, it was just a crash and burn. Um, but even though I feel physically very tired, at the moment, mentally, I actually feel really good. Um, and I don't want that to sound like I'm promoting a 95 hour work week, I'm not. But I have managed to get a lot done this week and I've really pushed myself. And actually that's also something that surprised me. So at the beginning of this experiment, in fact, when I was even deciding whether or not to do it, I was thinking, how am I going to fill 95 hours? What am I going to do? But you know what? It's actually been really easy to find 95 hours worth of work. All you have to do is say yes to everything. And because we're really heaping the pressure on ourselves this week, you say, yes, I will send that to you by the morning. So even though it's not normal to work a 95 hour week in consulting, I have been surprised by how easy it is to actually do that if you want to. The work is definitely out there, but it's not normal to work this much. So I'm kind of still working through this balance between I have enjoyed it in a weird kind of way and also don't want to promote this type of working because I've done it for a week, but it's not sustainable. Was this a soul destroying, horrible experience? No. Will I continue to work 95 hours a week? No. Did I burn out? Surprisingly, no, but I only did this for a week. Over time, it's easy to see how this would build up to become an unsustainable level of tiredness because you never quite recover from the previous week before you go straight into the same thing again the next week. All the recipe for burnout is right here. You've got huge amounts of stuff on your plate that you just have to chew through. And secondly, you feel that that stuff has no boundaries. So it is controlling you, not you controlling it. So you know what? After weeks, let alone months of working like this, I am not surprised that the Goldman Sachs first year analysts took to making a PPT and selling it to the media to speak out about this. You know what? Good for them. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you've learned something like I have too. Please also take this video in the spirit which it is intended, which is it's an experiment. We were just trying it to see what it's like. I am not promoting 95 hour work weeks. I'm not offering any comment either way. It's just to document the experience. In the next video, I'm gonna share some of the things that I have really learnt from doing this. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a wonderful weekend.